Hi everyone, Art Journal page today and I'm going to do some kind of monoprinting and you don't need to have a gel plate for it. I'm only going to use this uh, page protector and I will explain why first of all because not everyone has a gel plate and this is fun. Uh, everyone can have a, a, have a page protector and it, not even this, you can have any plastic bag you want and I'm using this first of all I marked uh, the borders of my page uh, second I can put paint here uh, with all kinds of methods I can use a brayer I can just use a brush and then I can flip it over my page and squish the paint so that's what I'm using today and I'm going to start with let's start with some yellow and as i said i can put it here and see approximately where my paint is going although when i will turn it around it will be a mirror image of where i put the paint but mostly i really don't care i just want to put some a uh, paint on my page i'm starting with yellow and i'm just adding a little bit of white next to it so I will have some uh, variation in the color I'm using a brayer but as I said you can use a brush it really doesn't matter just have fun with it so you see I'm just spreading the paint some uh, places are here have more paint some places less I don't care and I'm going to clean my brayer on just some uh, paper now I'm going to turn this around put it like this and now I'm just going to squish it and I can also take a plastic card and I can also, if I have a lot of paint, I can move it. If it's less paint, I'm just helping it uh, stick to the page. <laughs> now, this is quite random. You never know what will uh, be on your page. And that's what I like about it. Not everyone likes it. You can also do the same thing directly on the page with the brayer or with the brush up to you so as you can see uh, I have a, a, a little paint on my page and most on a, the page protector which is a uh, fine by me I'm just going to keep building up uh, the paint now I've taken another yellow just because I have it <laughs> and just a little bit more of the white and once again just spreading it wherever it goes it goes like so cleaning my brayer I can turn it around this is playing and having fun with it see and now I've got more paint on my page and if I have a little bit more here I'm smearing it and just soaking it into my page so I like it uh, moving on now I want it to be a little bit dry before I continue my next um, color is some kind of magenta although this is apple barrel and it says cranberry whatever and uh, the other ones were a uh, buttercream and yellow by deco art so it really doesn't matter just play with it and have fun let's hope this is a, a little bit dry and again i'm going to put some and a little bit of white just 
for the variation in the color and once again just spreading it all kinds of way to do mono printing this is not the only way and when i didn't have a gel plate i used a silicone mat for baking it was great i've done lots of prints uh, that way so that's another option i've seen someone also use a put craft a foam sheet inside a page protector and doing gel uh, doing printing i won't call it gel printing because it's not the gel plate let's see oh i like it lots of color and i think i need just a little bit more yellow here once again i can do it on the paint protector i can do it directly here whatever floats your boat just have fun with it there are no rules to it let's clean my brayer here and now i'm flipping it over and here we go yeah i like it okay moving on next i want some this is let's see turquoise it's very light turquoise the the companies that uh, put the names on the paints i just don't understand how they go about it but never mind whatever works so i'm just going to put this again quite randomly adding a little bit of white well this was a little bit more than what i wanted but again it really doesn't matter i have too much paint so i'm cleaning my brayer This is nice let's just yeah I like it I have a little bit a uh, more than I want here so let's spread it with the brayer and yeah okay so I'm going to let this uh, dry and then we'll continue I'll be back back so now i want to add details uh, to my background i've picked random <laughs> a, a stems i made from craft foam uh, this one was done with thick uh, craft foam it's like five millimeters uh, thick and i just did this with um what's it called it's a heat tool that uh forgot the name whatever maybe soldering iron and this one was just a plain craft foam and i made the indentations with a pen and this one i just cut the shape out of craft foam and glued it to this so i want to just add some interest and i feel like i need more of the yellow that i had first so i'm that's what i'm going to do I'm going to use now the page protector as a palette and I'm just spreading the yellow and I'm going over my stamp and once again I'm going to do it quite randomly yeah and 
and it doesn't need to be perfect or anything it's just part of the background and adding details and interest look how easy it is it's only craft foam with indentations from a pen nothing fancy anyone can do it and this already looks like a gel print without having a gel plate so let's see i still got this that's good now uh, with stamps that are made from craft foam it's better to wipe excess paint as soon as you are finished with it otherwise it will just dry in the indentations okay next what do i want let's now i'm adding a magenta to the yellow i have here and whatever will happen will happen spreading it and now i'm taking this one i can just do this oh I really really like it you see it's not perfect it's just adding interest yeah really really like it okay so just wiping excess paint here from my brayer and let's see I'm taking more of it because I want to put some other color here let's see maybe go a little darker I've got some dark green I'm wiping it just so I can put some dark green here without creating mud okay not sure about the color but i don't care whatever happens happens part of having fun with it let's see not a great stamp the indentations a uh, didn't turn quite as I wanted but it's fun it's fun playing with it and I find that most of the time I'm having mm, um, results mm, better results when things are not perfect so here we go like it let's wipe out I'm already getting an interesting page here that I can use for collaging do all kinds of stuff just with the excess paint okay now uh, I think I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back Okay, so that's my background, although I still think I'm going to add something to it. Right now I want to uh, do some kind of framing to the page. I'm taking a permanent black marker and going with free wobbly line like so and I want to uh, do all this with white i already know what my focal image is going to be i draw i drew some birds lately and i want to use them so and i want them to pop on the page so i'm thinking going a little bit darker with details in the background 
and leaving them mostly white so they will pop on the page as I said and let's take a brush so what I'm going to do is just go and color with white like this I can go over the line again later on I just want to see where everything goes the framing will uh, help me decide where I'm placing things on the page so as you can see just putting some white this I forgot to mention this is just sketch paper this whole uh, thing is just a, a sketchbook paper I pick it up very cheaply in the chip store and it works for me what can I say Oh, I really like this framing on of the page. Okay, in some places I need to go over the black line and maybe add a little bit of uh, white in several places so it will uh, cover the paint underneath, but as I said, I'm not really uh, concerned about everything being perfect. Okay, so I've got this and I want to add details and now I can see where I'm working. So I've got this sticky stencil, which I did my best to <laughs> lose the stickiness because it just doesn't work for me. And I want to add more of the dark green now when you're doing something like that don't be afraid to go darker or lighter there is always another layer so it really you can play with it and if you don't like it wait for it to dry do another layer so now i'm just using a makeup sponge and stenciling don't know how much of it I need to put some pressure so it will get into all this fine detail maybe I should have picked something bolder but never mind I'm going with it now I'm not going to do the whole page and I'm keeping at it while I have less and less paint on my sponge and then what you get is a, some kind of a fading into the page and then it doesn't a, just stop with a straight line so here we go I need more paint And I'm going to do the same thing here and then I'll come back. Okay, so here we are and I've spared you uh, watching me cutting the birds. And now I've just uh, glued them to my page with a glue stick because it, it was just printer paper. Now they are floating on the page and I want to uh, give them some branch to stand on. So I'm just going to use the same uh, permanent black marker. And let's see. Something like that. 
again it's not perfect it's not supposed to be at least I don't try to and well maybe let's do a little branching here I don't know <laughs> I'm just making something Yeah, something like that. And now I'm just going to go in and fill it with white. And also going here like the branch is going from the frame. I don't know why. It's like I, I've put the birds with their tail sticking out of the frame. I like it. It looks to me more a uh, fun, more organic, but that's just me. So I'm just coloring in and probably where the branch is getting really thin, I will just take some white gel pen or something like that, or a Posca pen just to make my life easy and not try to go in with the brush although I have some really uh, thin brushes I'm just going to do what's easy Where the black line is, I will probably need another layer once it's dry, like here. Something like that. Okay, let's see. I thought maybe I will put a little bit of color into the birds but I really like how they are very distinct on the page so I'm, I'm just going to leave it be this is a uniball signal pen really like them the white and the gold I don't need to wrestle it to uh, provide the paint <laughs> I don't know how to say it. yeah Okay, so this, this needs to uh, dry. I want some, I've picked some words to put here. Imperfection is a form of freedom. And once again, I'm just going to, go to use some uh, glue stick. I hope it's not crooked. Oopsie. Okay, here we are, and just a little bit of black line, again to go with the rest of this imperfection. No straight lines, just like this. I'm also going to uh, add a little bit more black lines to the branches. So it will go with how I've done uh, the birds, but it's still wet, so I'm going to wait for it. So I'll be back. Okay, so 
this is it i've just added more white here so it will go with the rest of the frame and added some black lines so it will go with the rest of my two birds and this is it that's my page i hope you liked it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now